no matter what is going on around us, no matter how how world how things are whirling around us, how things are are busting loose, how Satan is just just chomping at the bit to make us go off. You have authority even over yourself. You have authority. You do not have to just cause you can. You do not have to use your liberty that God gave you for maliciousness. You don't have to use your liberty to cuss somebody out. You don't have to use your liberty to sit down, cry, wallow, and stay there. All of us go through it. All of us have issues. Yes. But it's how you go through it that counts. Ah. Oh. There's so much God gave me, and I'm really trying to pinpoint which direction I'm supposed to go. So if it looks like I'm struggling, yeah, I am. Because I want to make sure you get the most out of what God gave me. Listen, life happens. Life can be a pain. We know that. But God is with you every step of the way. He has equipped you. He has equipped you with weapons of warfare. He has equipped you with spiritual armor. He has equipped you with his Holy Spirit. Do you know how powerful it is to live with the Holy Spirit within? All the self-control you never had, all of a sudden, you start finding out that you have a whole lot more control than you thought. All of a sudden, you start realizing that you don't have to reach to the lower elements of your life. You don't have to reach for the proverbial gun. You don't have to reach for the proverbial switchblade. Because God has equipped you with grace to rise above your enemies. You don't have to lower yourself to your enemies. You don't have to get down on the ground and wallow with your problems. Your problems are to be stepping stones, not stepping on you. Do you hear what I'm saying? When you operate, I'm going to read Galatians chapter 5. And then I may come back to Luke, so I want you to... Hear this, Galatians chapter 5, because sometimes many of us don't really know what the difference is when it comes to operating in the spirit and operating in the flesh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. We are going to start at verse 16. Listen, this I say then, walk in the spirit. And ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. I've got to use this example. There was a taxi cab driver that I knew. He had acting abilities beyond compare. This man could act. Do you hear me? And when this man did a play, we watched his talent. It was phenomenal. He, his gift, his talent, his strength on stage was equal to James Earl Jones, Sean Connery, Brad Pitt, uh, Denzel Washington. I'm talking heavyweight acting ability. That's what he had. What has God put in you that your attitude is sabotaging? Listen, this man could not keep his mouth. He had no sense of diplomacy. If he said something, it would be gruff and rough. If somebody asked him a question when he was talking to someone else, he would say, I wasn't talking to you. He just did not know how to finesse how he handled people. So as a result, 
If he got angry, if he wanted to tell you all, at the restaurant, he could be embarrassing. And we would all be looking at each other like, but that showed me that your ability, your giftings, your callings, are not what's going to kick the door open for you. It's your carriage, your character, your presentation, how you handle people. Do you love people enough to handle them differently than you want to sometimes? Do you love them enough to handle them with care when they're mishandling you?